So Dylan Raiola was named the starting quarterback at Nebraska. Joe, is anybody in the country surprised that Dylan Raiola is going to be the starting quarterback at Nebraska? No, I don't think anybody's surprised. And this is a very smart decision by Matt Rule for understanding that maybe even if Raiola is three quarters of the way ready to play, they're not in a spot right now where they're competing to win the Big Ten. They're just not there yet. You look at Ohio State and there is a pretty big difference between them and as well as, as Oregon. Let him go out there, let him develop, let him build confidence and like being there at Nebraska. But more importantly, think about all the buzz that they're generating right now. And if he goes out there and they're getting the whole Mahomes comparisons that keeps getting thrown out there, the way that he looks on the field. Yeah. If he has some highlight reel plays, it's going to help you in recruiting. It's just going to help with general exposure. If you can build the same hype train that we have with Arch Manning, who hasn't even touched the field, you are going to win in the recruiting space and continue to build this program. So this is a brilliant move, brilliant move, and it shouldn't even be overthought, and I'm glad that they didn't overthink it. I, I'm not going to say it's a brilliant move. I think it's a move that you just have to make. I mean, when you bring in a kid like that in your room and your team is the way that they are, you got to make the move. I don't think it's – there's no brilliance behind it. Now, that's not saying that I don't think Matt Rule's not a good coach, but, I mean, come on. I mean, he's the most talented quarterback on your roster – He's one of the best playmakers on your roster, and you got to play him. It would be more. It would be a travesty not to to play him. Look, I, I know people say he looks like Mahomes, he walks like Mahomes, he talks like Mahomes, he might be, might even quack like Mahomes. I don't even know. The kid's got to go out there, and he's gonna look. He's gonna have some ups, some really good ups. He's gonna have some really big downs. That has no that has no bearing on what he's gonna be as a prospect, as a quarterback. I will agree that it will help you turn some things around in recruiting. I I, I can't um, take that away. But, Joe, it's a, it's a very physical football league that the Big Ten is. And the question becomes, is he ready for that? I mean, this kid was in high school. I mean, look, how do you – Joe, I mean, he, in Buford, he wasn't getting hit like he's going to get hit in the pocket in the Big Ten that he is now. He hasn't taken a hit in Nebraska. I mean, Joe, let's just be honest. He ha Quarterbacks right. aren't getting hit in practice. How does the kid react? There are a lot of things that he's going to have growing pains with. Look, get to a ball game. Be, win seven games. I think that's what Nebraska needs to be and where they can be. I think this kid's talented enough to get you there, but you're going to have to live with those growing pains. And if you're a Nebraska fan, getting to a bowl game, getting to seven, maybe even at cap eight wins, is a big deal and a great season for them. Yeah, and I think the that goes in line with what I – said there that there's no expectation for your team to win the Big Ten. I'm not saying you tank the season and you just say F it and you put out a kid who's not ready, but making a decision to go with a more experienced starter, it doesn't do anything for you. It, it doesn't elevate your, your, your team. It doesn't take you to the next step. The, the ultimate goal when you're trying to develop a program that has been down in the dumps as low as it's gotten in the past few years that, you know, they really cratered at one point under, under Scott Frost to start building yourself back up again, you need to have momentum. So if Riola, he's going to have those downs, he's going to be a true freshman. He's going to throw some really stupid interceptions. He's going to take some really bad sacks and you're going to be yelling at the TV saying, come on, man, why would you do that? But when he has those highs and his, his confidence builds, the offense confidence builds builds for next season, that's going to be huge. If they have a really good portal haul, we could be talking about them as a Big Ten sleeper. It, it, it's not off the realm of possibility. If Raiola is as good as he has been advertised and he is able to continually progress and he does live up to this hype of could he be the next version of Caleb Williams or Patrick Mahomes, they're going to be really tough to, to match up with next year and then when he's a junior. He needs to play inside the system. If there's one thing that Mahomes, if there's one thing – that Caleb did not do, okay, even though they're highly talented. And look, Mahomes does that now in the NFL. He didn't do it at Texas Tech. I remember when Texas Tech played LSU in a bowl game. Mahomes was so outside the system. I, I think their part, their parts, if he, he can learn from the both of them, play inside the system, use your talents early in games, and or use the system early in games and let your talent overwhelm at the end of it. Uh, look, I'm happy. I I'm glad for Nebraska. You know, college football is better when they are good, and let's hope that this this that this really sparks them. All right.
This video is sponsored by the online fitness training camp presented by Chris Gates Fitness. When I first started talking about Chris, about partnering with our show, not only was I excited to have a fitness sponsor for our pod, but more importantly, when I found out about how he can help people achieve their goals, I was even more bought in because when the football season starts, it is so tough to stay on top of things and also to be able to enjoy yourself on Saturdays when it's game day. With Chris Gates Fitness's online training camp, you're going to be able to effectively stay focused, consistent, burn fat, build muscle, and do it with a like-minded community of individuals working towards the same thing. On top of this, you're going to be able to get direct coaching from Chris and the ability to ask him questions with an access to a live Q&A where you can get direct personalized support from Chris himself. Don't wait any longer. If you're trying to get in shape during this fall and you want to be able to do it with the right support system, head on over to chrisgatesfitness.com slash training camp or click the link in the description and you need to do it today because you can get the first month Personal training is expensive, folks. The first month for only $10 when you use that code Rafino Joe. Don't wait any longer. Head on over there. Bet Online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet Online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for 50% off your first deposit. That is a 50% welcome bonus. Bet Online, where the game starts.